Hi everybody, I'm Phipsy and for well over 40 years I've been messing around in boats, but I've never been as excited as I am today about this little girl here, the new Generation 2 Blue Water from Tournament Boats. This girl is absolutely at home out on the wide reefs chasing pelagics or cruising around the broadwater with the family. And if you're into any type of boating, this is the most versatile boat on the market and I can't wait. First of all, Wazza, congratulations on building what I believe is probably the best 20-foot all-purpose boat on the market today. Thanks a lot, 50. We're really proud of this model boat. And so you should be. And I believe you've got a new stringer system on your hull, which is just second to none. We have from the 2000, which is this model down, all our boats have a fiberglass stringer matrix. And another benefit of that is they're all foam-filled hulls as well. Our new stringer system, coupled with the foam filling, makes it an awesomely quiet hull, gives us good stability in the safety features, Coupled with our new hull design, this is our Generation 2 hull, which we've made the chines wider. We've taken the chines out to 190 mil wide at the back, so it gives you better stability for fishing, and it's more efficient hull for getting up on the plane. This boat will plane in its own length. Look, I think it's probably one of the most outstanding hulls that I've driven for quite some time. The ability to get on the plane almost instantaneously and then keep a steady speed has got to be great for your fuel consumption. It is, and you can push them along with low horsepower, like this particular boat's got 150 horsepower retech on it, and at a wide open throttle this will do 74 kilometres an hour. Wow, that's amazing. I think uh, a lot of people in boating these days have to realise that it can get quite expensive having a big 200 or 250 on. You don't need it for a boat of this size. That's exactly right. It's lower horsepower means lower cost to get on the water, so it's more affordable for mums and dads out there to get on the water. Now, was it reckons these new Evinrude e actually make fuel? Now, I don't think that's true, but they are very fuel efficient. They're incredibly fuel efficient and quiet as well. Now, I think probably something that's very important to families is being able to tow this rig, and it's quite a big rig, just with the average six-cylinder car. You don't need a big Land Cruiser or? No, no, like the, the whole package boat motor trailer is under two tonne. Well, that's fantastic. Well, let's have a look at some of the features. The first thing I'm looking at is this beautiful lounge that you're actually sitting on, and that folds down. So this is so versatile, this craft. That's right, like for the family day out, mum and the kids can sit down the rear lounge while you're driving around. When dad and the boys want to go fishing, the rear lounge just folds down and away they go, they've got full open cockpit for fishing. And of course, when I was belting the boat around the seaway at uh, quite warp speed, I might add, it's very, very comfortable at the helm. It is incredibly comfortable. Like you, were, you were doing some 4G turns, <laughs> and I wasn't even having to hang on. I was just sitting in my seat, comfortable as anything. Yeah, I felt a little bit like Luke Skywalker out there <laughs> on, on the Millennium Falcon, but yeah, look, the this performance and the speed of the boat is just outstanding. But of course, that is not the most important thing, it's the inherent safety. And I never ever felt that the family were at risk in this boat, no matter what I did. No, and as you would have noticed, with doing those 4G turns that you were doing, it's very stable with those wide shines. It doesn't want, the boat doesn't want to lean right over like, like a lot of normal monos. It's just very stable boat, very safe boat with the wide chines now. And of course you've got the beautiful big cabin up there, all the work area, as we fishers would call it, 
plenty of room in there for mum and dad and uh, room to put the little one down for a nap and uh, if you don't have a partner it won't be long before you get one for some extracurricular activities with a rig like this. Well so there's been a tendency in the boating industry to follow the American style of boats with the really really long transom and big duck boards and things. Now for our style of fishing with big mackerel and pelagics and kingfish and marlin they're about as useful as wooden legs in a bushfire. Your transom setup here is just perfect. That's exactly right Fipsy, like for the Australian fishing conditions it, we are, we're all using six foot boat rods and this transom with the small boarding platforms on it to get in and out of the boat you can still fight a fish around the outboard or around the boarding platforms with your six foot boat rod. Yeah and it's not too high to throw the leg, get out on the back platform bring the big black king around the other side of the boat, jump back in and do your business. And I notice you've got a massive live well there if you like to live bait. We've got a 55 litre live bait tank there, Fipsy. Well, there's something that every fisher needs. is a good bait board and you've got a couple of rod holders there, float some big pillies out for a snapper. Every fisherman needs a good workstation. The beauty of this as well, why you're not using it for fishing when you take the family out, one of those single little butane barbecues, straight on it, you can cook up a storm on this. Absolutely, well that's fantastic and uh, the more accessories you have in a boat, the better for family boating. Exactly, it makes you want to use it even more. Well, so one of the most outstanding features on this boat is this magnificent canopy and I'll tell you what, with a harsh Queensland sun or anywhere else in this country, you really need it. That's exactly right Fitzy, it covers a good area of the cockpit, you get good shade, and with the addition of front and side clears, it makes it a good all-weather boat. And with our rear extension here, you get more shade over the rear lounge of the boat as well. Yeah, now walk us through this little contraption here, mate. This is fantastic. Well, this is a great little thing here, Fipsy. <laughs> is our little secret hideaway to get to our rods and reels up in our rod rack. Which fantastic. Which gives you clear, uncluttered space out in the cockpit here. Yeah, it's nothing worse than having a dozen rods along the back of the boat. You hit a bump, they fall in the drink, everyone starts crying, you've got to get a Kleenex sponsorship. But this is fantastic. Everything's out of the way and they're kept out of the salt water, which is very important. Whilst the dash is very ergonomically designed and uh, user friendly as well. That's right, Fipsy. You've got a good instrument mounting panel up here and another good panel for your electronics like this Hummingbird 917C. It's flush mounted in here. No problems, it's still got room for more electronics as well. And you can put any electronics you like in the boat, just check with your dealer. The choice is personal, whatever brand or flavour that you want, you can get it. Of course you've got your little uh, switch panel down here for your nav lights and your bilge pump and any other bells and whistles you have in the that boat. That comes standard from the factory with all your basic house wiring. Let's talk about the steering, Sea Star Hydraulic, my favourite style of steering. It's just like having power steering in a sports car. That's exactly right, it's totally effortless. It is fantastic steering, standard from the factory. Okay, now also you can adjust these seats to uh, different heights. You can go forward and aft and they spin 360 degrees. So for a little fellow like me, this is all the way forward. And for a big guy like you, Fipsy, you can go all the way back. It's like a theme park ride. <laughs> it is exactly right. And the other advantage of these seats is that you've got storage under them as well. Instead of all that dead space under your uh, seat pedestal, you've got a mountain of storage underneath them as well. And of course, this little step to help you get forward if you've got to go around and jump on and off the boat. And not only that, if you spin the seat right around facing aft, it's a little footrest as well. Just when you thought it was safe to get back into the cabin, wait, there's more. A slidable, lockable cabin. You don't see that on 20-footers. That's right. It's a big selling feature with the women, this Fipsy, because you've got the slidable, lock lockable cabin, so that mum's got privacy, because up the front there in the V-berth, you can fit a toilet, and we all know how much the women love the toilet and the boats. Absolutely, but uh, that becomes all weather. You lock that up, if you've got some foul weather, all your gear can be locked in there and it's not going to get damaged. It's dry and it's secure. We're out in the Gold Coast Seaway having a bit of a jig with some soft plastics and Wazer, I can't believe how quiet this motor is. Hang on, fish on! What do we got here? Got there, Fipsy. Oh, I think we might have a little flatty on there. There we go, yeah, he's a nice little flatty, probably just over legal. I, I just drifting down there with that nice quiet motor, it's just made that flathead not even know we were there. That's not a bad little fish, probably just over legal, but uh, I think we'll put him back and uh, see if his big brother's there. Love it.
Now before you race out to your nearest dealer to order one of these fantastic boats, check this out, the new Generation 2 Reverse Chime. Also, how does it work? Basically, Fipsy, we've improved on, on an already good product from the Generation 1 hull. We've taken the chine out wider, we've taken the step out, it's 190 mil wide at the back. Now, with reason doing that, we give us a lot more stability at rest and stability in turns, as we found out today. It's very stable and it's a more efficient hull. So less horsepower, less fuel to get on the plane quicker. For more information, contact Tournament Pleasure Boats on 07 3807 6999 for your nearest dealer or check out the website tournamentpleasureboats.com.au and remember Tournament Pleasure Boats are Australian owned and Australian made.